Hey guys, so what's up? How are you? I'm really, really, really glad because I'm getting so much love from you guys and the small amount of people that are watching me and that will watch me in the future to those guys. I'm currently running a giveaway which you can check it right here or here depending on where the eye button is. So in this video guys, I wanted to try a different thing. I wanted to upload a recipe. Yeah recipe it's not a cooking channel guys don't freak out i'm just doing this because i really like the recipe and you can like make it quite easily and you can enjoy it so the recipe is a japanese curry yeah i know japanese curry like every other japanese thing i like the curry is also something i like the japanese one so this is not exactly how the japanese curry is traditionally made because uh, most of the items are not available in India. For example, mirin and dashi. So I wanted to substitute some of that and incorporate in my recipe. I um, eat this around every week because I really like it. So what normally Japanese people do is they buy something like this, a curry roux packet, which we don't have it in India and I cannot find it in Amazon. So this recipe, I really got inspired by a YouTube channel known as Tabby Eats, they're on YouTube and they make amazing Japanese recipes and they make food reviews, which I really like. <laughs> For some reason, I really like food reviews, it's especially the Japanese food reviews. So I really like the channel, do check them out, I would link them in the bottom box below. So in the description box guys, there would be a PDF which you can download. That PDF is about the whole recipe and the ingredients that I mentioned. So you can make it easily at home. Majority of the items, like all of the items, are easily available to you guys. Some of the items which are not, I would be linking in the bottom box below. So those links are affiliate links guys, click them if you want or search them in Google. It's completely your choice. So let's just guys, get on with the video. So you need about two medium sized potatoes. Here I have used a combination of both sweet potato and a normal potato. So you need to cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Alternatively, you can use any potato of your choice. Then you'll need about three cloves of garlic, a thumb-sized amount of ginger, and you need to mince it up or blitz it up in a paste kind of a consistency. So next, you will need about two small carrots or one medium-sized carrot and chop it up into bite-sized pieces like this. So next, we will need about two small onions. So the first one, cut it up into bite-sized pieces and the next one, chop it up nicely to form the base of your curry. So next, I'll be adding zucchini, about one cup chopped zucchini, but alternatively, you can add broccoli or any kind of vegetable. Next, you will need a meat of your choice. Here I have used boneless chicken bits. It has both thighs and tenders, but alternatively, you can use any meat of your choice. Now coming to the meat spice, we have 2 tablespoons of curry powder and then coming to some other additional spices, we have 2 teaspoons of red chili powder and then some whole spice which include 1 piece of cardamom, 2 cloves, a tiny strand of cinnamon stick, 1 teaspoon of fennel seed or sauce, 1 teaspoon of sesame seeds to add that oriental flavor, 1 teaspoon of black pepper powder, 1 and a half teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Up next, we have the secret magic Indian spice, garam masala, about 2 teaspoons. And lastly, add about as much salt as you like or as you prefer. I have added 2 to 3 teaspoons here, but add as much as you like. Now, coming to the sauces, we have soy sauce, about 1 tablespoon. Then add any sweetener of your choice. You can add stevia or sugar free like this. As I have done here, I have added honey for the depth of flavor. Up next, you'll need Worcestershire sauce or barbecue sauce as you prefer. It adds a nice smoky barbecue feeling to it. Then we need everybody's favorite ketchup. It adds a nice tangy flavor to the curry. Now what I generally do is I take a container and add about 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 
1 tablespoon of ketchup, half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, 1 tablespoon of honey or any sweetener of your choice and put the lid back on and mix it quite well and set it aside. Alternatively, you can use all of the sauces when you are cooking separately but I like to use this method because it saves a lot of time and a lot of effort. Then you'll also need white vinegar, about a tablespoon of it. Now next coming to the three major secret ingredients. So up first we have mayonnaise. I'm using Kewpie mayonnaise because it has a nice umami flavor to it. But alternatively you can use something like this or an eggless variety. It works just perfectly fine. Now next up we have unsweetened cocoa powder. Now cocoa powder has a complex flavor to the curry so it's a must add. Then you'll also need coffee powder, use any kind. Now let's just get on with the cooking. So next you need to heat up the pan and make the process quicker by using a lid. Then after that you need to add oil. I have added quite a bit of oil so I will put that aside for later. So that's about a right amount. So next you need to heat up the oil. So after the oil is heated up, add one bay leaf which is completely optional, you can or cannot add it and add the dry spices that is fennel seeds, sesame seeds, cardamom, cloves and cinnamon into the pan and lightly roast them until they have released all the flavors. So it generally takes about 1-2 to two minutes, fry them up nicely and put the lid back on. Up next, add the chopped up garlic and ginger into the pan and saute them until they have cooked through. It generally takes about 1-2 to two minutes for it to release all its flavors and to be cooked through. After that, add the finely chopped up onion pieces and fry them until they are translucent. Put the lid back on. Stir it again for nicely incorporating everything. After the onions are translucent, add the chicken pieces and saute them until the chicken has kind of a halfway cooked. As you can see, everything is nicely halfway cooked through and the juices are released. So next up, add all the chopped up vegetables that we previously had and whoa, look at the colors. It almost makes it seem like it's healthy, which is certainly not. Put the lid back on and let it fry for until 5 minutes or until the juices have released. Stir it all around and now we need to get ready for the spices magic. First, we'll add half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Then we'll add one and a half teaspoon of cumin powder. Then we'll add two teaspoons of chili powder. 1 teaspoon of black pepper powder and now comes the salt steak. Salt steak 1, salt steak 2, salt steak 3 and a little bit more. And stir 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 until they are nicely incorporated and now comes the water take. Water take 1, water take 2, water take 3 and a little bit more you basically need to submerge all of it into water so add until all of them are submerged so then put the lid back on and wait for around 10 minutes put it in a medium flame and you will see me doing weird hand gestures on a separate pan add the remaining oil which we add and heat it up all nicely Add about half a cup of flour and stir it up nicely. Add the curry powder. Add some stock from the simming part of the curry to form a paste-like consistency. Open the lid and check if the curry is doing fine. Then we need to add the curry paste that we made. And stir it up nicely to incorporate everything and make sure it doesn't form any lumps. Put the lid back on and let it simmer for around 5 minutes. Now we need to add the sauces. So I'm adding the sauce mix which we previously prepared earlier. But alternatively you can use the sauces one by one. 
and then cover it and cook it for around 2 to 5 minutes. You'll also need about 1 tablespoon of vinegar. Mix it all well together and let it simmer for around 2 to 5 minutes again. Check whether the vegetables had cooked through. I still needed time so I put the lid back on. And now coming to the secret ingredients. Up next we'll need 1 teaspoon of coffee powder, 1 teaspoon of cocoa powder and stir the can for nicely incorporating everything. Finally we'll add the mayonnaise, about 1 tablespoon will do the job. Stir it around nicely and mix it all up. Make sure it doesn't form any kind of lump. Then adding the garam masala, the magical Indian ingredients. So mix it all up nicely. Put the lid back on and again simmer it for around 5 minutes on a low flame. Now it's time to add the onion pieces. Now I add the onion pieces now because I like my onion quite crunchy in here. But if you don't then add it with the vegetables earlier. And give it a final stir and let it simmer for around 1 to 2 minutes. Put off the heat and let it sit for around 2 to 3 minutes. Now voila, your curry is done, your delicious plate of curry. Serve it with a nice steaming hot rice and help yourself with a healthy serving of curry. See the amount of curry to the rice, I really like it. So Japanese curry is normally eaten with spoons, so let's just dip the chopstick and have that amazing deliciousness into our mouth. Yum, it was so delicious guys. It is thick, it is sweet and spicy at the same time. It has a nice depth of flavor and I really, really, really like it. That stuff is amazing. So hey guys, that was it for my video. How did you enjoy my video? That curry was mwah, really amazing. It's really, really, really amazing. I'm like salivating when I'm remembering the curry, the curry taste, which I had like yesterday. But it was really amazing. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then hit that like button. Comment down below, guys. How did you like the recipe? And of course, what video, guys, do you want me to do next? So there is a giveaway running on my channel. Again, all the rules would be in the description box below. So check the description box, guys. And share this video with your friends. If any of your friends like Japanese curry or anything Japanese like me. So uh, also don't forget to check out the channel that I mentioned, Tabby Eats. They are really amazing. Check out them. They are really one of my favorite channels here in YouTube and when you check out their videos do mention that I send you from this video because I really like them. Also don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me and, and you can be a part of my perfectified fam. Also if you want you can follow me on all of my social media handles which would be linked in the bottom box below. Hey guys that was it and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Can you be